the explosion happening in, in any other time of the mission than when it did probably would have been a lot more critical. It wouldn't have happened earlier ne necessarily because we were only a couple days out. And remember I, I mentioned that <clears throat> we stirred the cryos post-sleep. And I think this is like the second post-sleep period. Or we had, or I think we only had one sleep period at 54 hours into the mission. And um, later on, the later it happened, the worse it could have been. The earlier it happened, the better it is, obviously. Um, later on, uh, put it this way, if it happened in Earth orbit, been better. It'd been the best of all. But since we had done the translunar injection burn, we're already on way to the moon uh, and committed, uh, the later it happened, the worse it could have been. Um, the worst time it could have happened, of course, is when we uh, had separated the lamp from the command module and we were uh, had gone down the moon and we would not have had the uh, lunar module uh, consumables that was in the descent stage available to us. And they would not have made it back then. Uh, it happened early enough where we could do some, we had time to figure out whether we wanted to do a free return around the moon or, or abort immediately. Uh, we, had, we had more time to work with and it's been said before, this is probably one of the best times it could have happened. If that failure had occurred today with the shuttle, I mean, uh, it wouldn't have been missed because uh, uh, with the shuttle, we know every switch position on that spacecraft on the ground. We have uh, the redundancy is sometimes five deep. So, and uh, the lessons we learned from the Apollo 13 uh, uh, accident were, were incorporated into the design of the shuttle. So that, uh, the, the lessons there were not uh, for naught at all.